Hi everyone, I'm live again. I am bringing on someone else that is a huge both Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 fan. Uh, before I quickly do, a lot of people were asking me about my heart ro robe earlier. I got it from my mom and it's from Victoria's Secrets, just so you guys know. Okay, I'm gonna find our guest. <laughs> When she comes on, hi, Maddie. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't know, Maddie's here. Maddie has arrived. So oh, come on. Oh, thanks. I just started the live and waiting for our special guest. Hi. <gasps> I just got so excited. I choked on my own. Oh, my God. You're choking. I look so great, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You look amazing. You obviously scheduled the shower prior to the, the Instagram. I yes. Love so you all know. Well, just so you all know, I have to work. I, I have to go to work in an hour. So I was like, let me just shower now, get it over with. So you guys are getting me at my before work best. And what is your show for people that don't know? I'm on a show called Grownish, which is on Freeform. New season will premiere July 8th. Oh my we God. just got the premiere date. Oh my gosh, is that exciting? Yeah, and we started filming in February. So that's a quick turnaround. But you guys will be wrapped by then. We wrap uh, next month, June 10th, oh, okay. so we're almost done. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Is it, is it cutting off for you? Because it's a little slow for me. I'm not glitchy on my end. Let me ask everyone, if, are you guys having issues with the feed? I'm asking in comments to see. But if it's yours, I can cl uh, close out of it and restart it. Do you want me to do that? No, I mean, it's fine right now. You're just pixelated, but it's fine. I can hear you. But if you guys are good, then like doing this, do I look good? Like <laughs> yeah, you're always so pretty. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Now we're just gonna do also. This. this is really cool. This is really cool because I don't know how if you guys all know this, but Danielle and I have known each other a long time because we were in a movie called Bring It On All or Nothing, and I love how this has come around full circle. <laughs> I know we're both on technically ABC shows for people that don't know, Freeform is ABC as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty amazing that, and we, we've been friends this entire time. We I know, I love that. We, we were 17. I always think we were younger, like, but I was like, yeah, we were, I was driving, so 17, which is crazy. For those yeah. that bring it on all or nothing is the third? Third one. I always forget. People are like, which one was it? I was like, Ugh. fourth, third? I just know it's bring it on all or nothing. It's all or nothing. It was the third one, Shibuya all day. Shibuya. <laughs> You still know that whole cheer, though, don't you? I No, I had to relearn it because during quarantine, TikTok became popular, and I suddenly went on, and I was like, and some people were requesting it. So I was like, all right, let me do it. And I totally forgot. I had to go on other people's pages to relearn it. Isn't that sad? I, I completely forgot. I didn't know it got, like, big on TikTok, like the actual Shibuya song. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, so thank you guys, whoever did it. Why have we not done this together on TikTok? You know what? I don't know. When we <laughs> hang out, let's do it. A plan might have just been formed. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, okay, so for people that don't know, what's also full circle is you are a huge Grey's Anatomy fan, correct? Since day one, always and forever loyal. So I was so excited when I heard you were going to be on station. Which I think didn't we? I didn't even know right away. I found out like after we went and had drinks or dinner, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm a huge, huge Grey's Anatomy." And then you were like, "Tell me all the juicy secrets about Station 19 and what's gonna happen." I was like, "I can't tell you." Oh, I beg her all the time, and it's funny. She's like, "I love that you watch the show." I'm like, "You think I'm playing? Like, I'm not doing this just to support you because I, I know every like almost everyone in the cast. I'm like, I'm obsessed. I love Shonda Rhimes, especially Wait. these crossover ones. Oh, they get me." Now, do you like, even if it's just like a character, because at this point, like every episode feels like a crossover because so many of our characters go on both shows. Yeah. Does it cross over to you? Or do you feel like the big, big ones that have like, like huge, like a storyline crossover are more exciting? The ones that have a huge storyline crossover. I like when the characters come because I know them and I know their backstory and stuff. But when you guys really interlace the characters, as far like, like the car crash when um, yep. the girl was like, save me don't save him and they just got married and then all of a sudden they're hostile. like i love those little crossovers i'm telling you i'm obsessed <laughs> were you happy when he divorced her yes <laughs> Ab 
absolutely. I was like, good for you. Like, bye, Felicia. You got to get your life together. She's so <laughs> selfish. You don't want to be married to that every day. It gets old. Oh, my gosh. I love that. Um, do you, would you be down to play a little trivia game since you are such a big fan? Yes. Although I do have IMDb up only because I'm so bad at the characters' names. I'm like, all right, let me just, you know, that was the only thing. But I'm down for trivia. Let's do it. Let's see how I big of a fan I am. You didn't even have to say it. You didn't even have to say that you have IMDb up. I love that you like totally gave the secret away. You're like, I'm searching right now. <laughs> okay, Danielle, you know me. Like, I can't lie. I wear everything on my sleeve. And even if I try to like lie, you see it in my eyes. It's on my face. And I'm like, damn it. It's so true. You're so like authentic and I love it. Um, okay. okay. Want all Grey's Anatomy questions, all Station 18, a mix of like some Grey's and some Station? What would give, you me, prefer? give me a mix. Okay. I got this. Okay, let's do this. Question number one. Who gave Derek Shepard the nickname McCreamy? And this is multiple choice, so I'll give you options. Okay. A, Izzy Stevens. B, Christina Yang. C, Joe Wilson. Or D, Meredith Grey. Mm, that was a long time ago. I want to say, oh my gosh. Um, I want to say Yang. That sounds like a Yang thing. That would be correct. Oh! I'm going to love that when you get every single one of these right, everyone's going to be like, she is a diehard fan. It's cool, too. If you actually, everyone in the comments is, is answering, too, which is great. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look. Oh, oh, thanks. I, 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 we're looking away. But it's a good way to be like, everyone's giving the answer, too, which is awesome. Okay, you ready for the second one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to a Station 19 question. Which firefighter asked out Maggie Pierce on a date? A, oh. Jack Gibson. You can just answer it if you no, want. No, 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 no. Uh, B, Lucas Ripley. D, uh, C, Dean Miller. And D, Robert Sullivan. Miller. Yeah. <laughs> I almost slipped too and said, I was like, Dean Miller. <laughs> That's amazing. I love, I seriously, I keep saying that I love how much of a fan you are. Like, yeah. You guys, I'll be texting her and I'm like, you killed that monologue. Oh, that one monologue? Oh, it was so good. You also get pissed when, I can't, when Maya does stuff that you're like, no, why did you do that? Yeah, I do get really upset. Like, sometimes you're a little selfish with your girl, and I'm like, calm down. <laughs> like, relax. I know, I'm like, have an actual conversation with Maya. And I swear, in the future, one of these days, we've got to get you on the show. Yes, well. since I'm on the page, y'all. I'm a fan. Please get me on. Although, Wait. Jaina, Jaina texted me, and she was like, because I know Melissa, too. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, I know Melissa, and she was like, well, you know, Melissa's on. She might need a love interest. I was like, call me. Call me. That would be such a perfect storyline. Okay, we're not giving anything away, but just putting it out there. Putting it out there, since I'm on the page. I love that. I love that. Um, this is actually a really good idea. Um, okay, second Grey's Anatomy question. Okay. What is Meredith Grey's drink of choice? A, whiskey. B, coffee. C, tequila, or D, Coke Zero? Oh my God, this one's a tough one because Ellen, I've seen her drink on her page. Give me the options again. I don't want to look at the answers. A is whiskey, B is coffee, C is tequila, D is Coke Zero. I want to say coffee because she's always drinking coffee on the show. And when uh, her and Yang used to drink on, I didn't see her drinking tequila or any of the other stuff. So I'm going to say coffee. Am I wrong? Damn it. What is it's, it? Uh, tequila? But I have to say, like, isn't every doctor's choice coffee when you're working? But yeah. Yeah, that's what I really see them drink. But I'm like, when she used to drink with Yang, it was wine. It wasn't tequila. Damn it. All right. She usually drinks wine. Yeah. I know. I was doing the same thing. I was like, yeah, that's deceiving. But it is C, tequila. And you did not cheat because every single person was like, tequila. tequila. Yeah, I'm not cheating, guys. I'm not cheating. I, I was this close to saying tequila. I'm like, I've seen Ellen drink tequila on her page. Am I getting the two confused? I should have, like, given a hint. Is your fav What's your favorite drink of choice? Wine. Oh. But if it's, if it's liquor, I'll go with tequila. Okay, I was going to say, if it's, like, actual liquor well i guess wine's are actual liquor too okay everyone's yelling at me it's always tequila guys i'm sorry okay i'm thinking <laughs> about her and yang and wine I'm, don't rem don't yell at me Ugh, so sad <laughs> okay we'll go to number two for station 19. what official club does maya bishop bishop welcome emmett dixon into after he comes out 
A, the Gay Firefighters of Seattle. B, Out and Proud Firefighters. C, C Seattle Fire Queers. Or D, Gay Pride for Firefighters. Say it again. Because I know I stumbled. I was mumbling over that one. No, what no, if you weren't. Because I don't, I remember that episode. I don't remember what you said. You said it only once, woman. That was a hard one. I, I know. I know. I've said it on Instagram a couple times. Is I think the only other time I have said it a couple times. Yeah, I like, only said it once. I only said it once. It's either A, Gay Firefighters of Seattle, B, Out and Proud Firefighters, C, Seattle Fire Queers, or D, Gay Pride for Firefighters. That's a hard one. That's that is a, a hard one because you only said it. I'm going to go with is C, Queer, C? C, yeah. C. Seattle Fire Queers? Yes. I just yeah. feel like that's more correct. That is correct. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I feel like even some of these I might learn. Like the Grey's Anatomy ones, I didn't know that tequila was her drink of choice. So I'm learning it too as we go along. Yeah, I'm just learning that certain people, like, you know, you can't, they want to be referenced a certain way. And I feel like queer is the one that's, you know, more appreciated. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, three back to, to Grey's Anatomy. What name did Maggie give to the first cadaver she ever dissected? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. A, A, Larry, B, Leonard, C, Landon, or D, Luis? It's definitely not Luis. <laughs> I want to say Leonard. Final answer? Yeah, am I wrong? Oh, thank God. That <laughs> sounds familiar. I love it so much. I love it. But I could just sit here and ask you questions all day. These and are I'm hard. Like, I need to play along. This is awesome. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. I'm having um, fun. Okay, let's see. Station 19. Which question didn't I ask? Okay. Ooh. What does Captain... How, oh, sorry. How does Captain Pruitt Herrera die in season three? Oh. A, evacuating medics after a car crash into Joe's bar. B, ventilating a roof in order to save his team trapped inside a burning building. C, refusing chemo and letting his scrotal lymphoma spread. That's a harsh answer. <laughs> D, rescuing civilians from building debris after an earthquake. B. Yeah. That was, that, was a that was a tough call for you, man. That was a tough episode to shoot. Like, I couldn't keep my emotions together because we knew that it was not just Captain Pruitt dying on the show, but it was yeah. actually leaving the show and that was every time any actors ever left this show whether it's Ripley or Pruitt or um or Ryan Tanner Ripley though I literally when I go to the dentist now I'm like do not give me fluoride <laughs> I'm like it's bad why are you trying to offer that do you really yes now I have fluoride free toothpaste because because of that I didn't know <laughs> People are saying they're still traumatized from that episode. Oh, it was so good. And Barrett did such a great job with that, man. She knocks out the park every time. You guys are all so good. All of you are so good. Thank you for saying that. But we get some really good stuff to work with as well. So yeah. it helps. But, but yeah, that was a tough one. That was a real tough one. Till this day. Till this day, Lucas Ripley lives on because of how much he was loved. Yeah. Like, it yeah. was... Because we, I went from hating him to like he's the best person in the world. Like he got her flower. Uh, but isn't that the best characters? Like the characters that you love one second, hate the next, love him again the next. It's like yeah, like Deluca. I didn't care for him. Really? I, see, I didn't watch a show early on for Grace, so I didn't know. So early on in the show, you hated Deluca. I didn't hate him. I just was like, whatever about him. Uh, I was like, eh. and then and then when Meredith started liking him, I was like, no, because I was still stuck on Shepard. Okay. And I ended up really liking the relationship. I was like, all right, Sean, I'm like tired of you messing with my emotions. Like one day I don't like them and then I fall in love and then they're gone. Like it was so bad that when Addison left, I boycotted her, her show. Cause I was like, I'm so mad she left Grace. I don't want to watch. Wait, you boycotted her show? Like her own show that she then had after? That's how obsessed I became. Like there were a couple of like, times. How hard it is as an actor to get another show. <laughs> I know, but as the character, I was like, why did you leave? I'm so upset. I finally like you, and then you're gone. Yeah. I boycotted. I did. I did end up watching because I know that there were a couple episodes that were like really gut wrenching. So I ended up watching a few, and I was like, "All right." So I started binging a little bit. But I was like, "All right, I forgive you." Like it's been some years. I'm an actor. I'm an adult. I'll grow up. But I was so upset, and this was early on, like years ago. 
Okay. Someone just said, he, we didn't hate him. He just wasn't Derek, is what someone said. That's what it was. It was Yeah, I was just whatever about him. It's not Derek. Derek. Oh. Guys, how'd you guys? Huh? Yeah, sorry. What were you, sorry? Keep I going. was just going to bring up Derek coming back, the whole beach thing. Like, oh, that was a moment. Did you, have you liked all the beach stuff? I mean, obviously not that Ellen is in a, was in a coma, but like, do you like all yeah, the Yeah, I mean, to see all the OGs back, are you kidding me? It was Lexi, McSteamy, George, oh, the George episode. Cause it was like, no time ever passed. It was oh, so good. I really loved it. And were you sad going back to DeLuca? Were you sad though when he passed away? Absolutely. Oh, I'm I mean so sad. Yeah, especially because, you know, he was right the whole time, you know, he just didn't know how to control his emotions, just the way it happened. Um, when Karina, you know, the way that their relationship really blossomed, I have siblings. So I just I can't even imagine that pain. Look at me. I'm so invested. I'm an actor. And I know how scripts are, but I get so into shows. Well, that's the interesting part is like you you see the uh, the behind the scenes aspect of like what it takes to get there and everything. And I love it's hard, I think, for actors to sometimes get into shows and become invested because we do know so much about what goes on behind the scenes. But that's why I love so much how dedicated, how much a fan <laughs> are of both shows. The next one. I Question. Where yeah. did um, Jason and Miller film that water stuff? They built a tank on our stages. So on one of the stages, they built a huge tank and then had green screens around it and then just got rid of the green screens and all of that is the whole ocean actual as unless until they get out of the water and everyone yeah. rides and save them. Um, it's all shot on a on a green screen. The boat part was shot at um, out by in the by the Bay Area. OK. Oh, wow. Area, not up north area, this area, San Pedro. Got it. And that was on a boat. But then once they're in the water, it's on the stage the entire time. And of course, me being an actor, I'm like, I hope the water's warm. Like, what's yeah. going on? Is it, was it like, salted? They were swallowing some of it? I was like, Jesus, it, it's like so real. It, it was such a wet, like, of course, Paris are directed it. Mm -hmm. it our, oh. Yeah, you know Paris. Yeah. So Paris directed it, and of course, he knocked out of the park, as did all the actors. But that was, yeah. I was interested to see, because when you shoot stuff like that with green screens, you never know how it's going to turn out. And the team did such a great job of, like, making it look like they're on the in the actual ocean. Yeah, it was really, really well shot, really well acted. I was um, like, please, not again. Like, I don't, it can't do another death right now. I'm still recovering from DeLuca. Like, calm down. <laughs> and then with Warren, I just, ugh, I can't. I know, but it feels like... The last two years, we just keep killing people off. I'm like, who's going next? I know. Like, I'm tired of Shonda, like, emotionally, like, messing me up. Like, I've ha I've, I need to charge her for my therapy sessions is all I'm saying. <laughs> I still have Grey's Night. She's open to it. <laughs> She'd be like, yes, it's my fault. I totally understand. I'll send you my invoice. You know, I still, <laughs> I still have Grey's Nights with my friends. And now we do Station and Grey's Nights. We started it back when we were 14. And we're still trying to keep it going strong. I love that. Do you guys now do it? Do you guys still do it in person or do you guys do virtual? Yeah, person? we do it in person now. You know, we're all vaccinated and stuff. So, um, and the show, yeah, we're all vaccinated. So we go over to my friend's house. She just had a baby and we watch it there. Awesome. Yeah, okay. we, if we can. It, it's harder now that we're adults and have jobs, but um, we, yeah. we, we're trying to keep the tradition alive. Wine, pizza, food, grazing station. Yep. That's adulting, though, for you. It's like trying to balance it all. You've got to have at least that one show that you love. Yeah. Are you ready for a couple other questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, about, go back to Grey's. I think the, was the last one a Grey's question or a Station 18? I think it was Station 18. I don't remember. Okay. We'll just go to the next one. Um, which of the original interns failed their boards? Was it A, George O'Malley and Alex Karev, D, George O'Malley and Izzy Stevens, C, Alex Karev and Izzy Stevens. D, Alex Karev and Meredith Grey. George and Alex. God, you're good. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, but you got, you got me because I knew George and I forgot about Alex. And then you knew. Once you heard the other like it wasn't Izzy. It wasn't easy. And then I remember Alex went to Pete's. Yeah. I'm still sad about that one. Like, can girl get a break? Can she just what? be happy? Joe on Grey's Anatomy. Like, can she just be happy? Everyone's leaving. I was sad. I was like something the other day. I was like the four originals that are still on the show. It's just like, that's it. That's it. It's just Bailey, Weber, and, and Meredith. Yeah. There was one other character, but I don't know her name. So. No, she, no, those are the all, only OGs. There's a, I'm like, Maddie, can you find the picture? It's like the four. 
Maddie's here. I was like, she can. No. We'll no there is a fourth one. Yeah. <laughs> Maddie just goes, you guys are still on live. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's only three from the OGs. Because I think one of the fourth ones you might be thinking about came in later. It's only three. Okay. So it's only three. Yeah. I, trust me. I know. What? I know. I would know. I, I don't know why I was even questioning you. <laughs> Like, I know. When did you say, Maddie? Did you know that the initials of the four original interns spell magic? The, did you know that? No. It's <sighs> Gray, Alex. Alex. Oh. No, Alex Krev isn't part of the show anymore. No, yeah, but he's, a, he's an original. He's oh, 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 oh. Intern. And the first initials of all of their names. Oh, the first magic. initials of all of them. And yeah. Christina. Oh, that's so smart. I didn't know that. Oh, that's so cute. Mind blown. Just so you guys know, the first initial of every original character of Grey's, Grey's Anatomy spells magic. Grey's Anatomy spells magic. Oh, that's so cool. That oh. is I love that. Thank you, Maddie. Yeah. Instilling us with some knowledge. Okay, ready for a Station 19 question, and then I'll finish with one more Grey's Anatomy question, and then I'll stop asking you questions. Deal. <laughs> um, ooh. Okay. Which character decided to train and become a probie after assisting Captain Pruitt Herrera as a, as a civilian in a fire that broke out backstage at a community theater? That is a long question. Yeah. That. No, give me the answers. Okay. A is Jack Gibson, B is Victoria Hughes, C is Jay Hayden, and D is Emma Dixon. Hughes. I was like, it gives away the second you say backstage at a community theater. I'm like... <laughs> I remember that episode. That was cool. It was good, right? Yeah, it was a good episode. Is the teacher, um, her teacher that dies in the fire, Peter Page, uh -huh. came on and directed tonight's episode and now is one of the producers on our show. Oh, that's so dope. I love yeah. how that happens. It is pretty amazing how that happens. Him and Krista have been friends for a really long time, too. He's an amazing director and actor, but it was just crazy how that all came Show, directed on the show and now producer of the show that's so cool go 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 ahead i love it okay let's see what this last one i gotta find a good one good one for the last one. Oh yes you probably know that one. Oh, she's trying to get me i got one wrong i'm still mad about tequila damn it i know i'm sorry um i feel like you're gonna know that one now my sister came home everyone's home i'm live on instagram oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now they're gonna all be super loud and say hi in the background just so you know hi guys <laughs> francia says hi hi <laughs> oh gosh okay i feel like this is a hardcore fan question like if you don't you've got to know this answer what was the original title of the show mm -hmm. give me the options open hearts wait wait hold on hold on do, do it again you cut off you cut off one. Okay. What was the original title of the show? A, Open Hearts. B, Seattle Grace. C, Seattle Hearts. Or D, Complications. Take your time. Take your time. Do it again. It's not A. It's Seattle something. Go ahead and say it again. Ooh. A, okay, so B is Seattle Grace. C is Seattle Hearts. And D is Complications. What was A again? A was Open Hearts. Oh, I, I want to say Seattle Great. You're going to be so upset with me. <laughs> what did you say? It, am I wrong? Am I wrong? What did you say? I said Seattle Grays. Try again. <laughs> it's Open Hearts? <laughs> okay, and now I'm stumped. That the original sh name of the show was Complications. Really? Oh, I'm glad I arranged it. That. Like, I, I just have the piece of paper here that says it. I would never have known that. Some fans knew it, but some fans also said Seattle Grace. A lot that, of fans. Grace. That just makes more sense. I'm so glad you guys changed the title. Grey's Anatomy is so much better. This morning, I've been slipping and saying Grey's 19 all morning. I just blend the words together. I'm like, Grey's 19, I mean, Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy. I mean, you guys uh, crossed over enough. Makes sense. That's what I was like. I was like, my brain is there. My brain's already thinking that. So that's awesome, though. That is, that's so cool. Oh, Boki. Boki is an original cast member. 
Oh, duh. Yeah. That's, I was like, someone just said it. I just saw it. And so I was like, oh, I knew. Because I, again, I wouldn't know. I just see like things I'm tagged in on Instagram. And one was like the four original picture. Um, but I didn't know her name. I'm sorry. Okay. To be fair, we were talking about interns. Uh, yeah. Interns. But yeah, you're right. Can't forget Boki. Ah, uh, legend. What a legend. I have to say it again. I love how much you love the show. And so for tonight's episode, are you sad that Jesse Williams, the Jesse Williams story is, is playing out? Are you sad? Of course I'm sad. That's what I'm saying. Like, Joe can't get a break. I know. And I actually really liked that couple together. So I'm curious to see how they do it. And like, you know, DeLuca just left. Alex left all of a sudden. I'm, I'm so sad. But I'm glad that Kepner came back for an episode. Like, that was cool to see. And you know, I'm also sad because she's leaving with him. So are they going to get back together? Why can't we see that? Like, stop messing with my emotions, you know? And maybe they will in season 22. <laughs> I hope so. At least something. At least, uh, But I'm glad they didn't kill him off. That. And so I'm, and I'm, I'm saying right now, do not kill Warren off. Like, don't do that to us. That's Ben not... Warren? Uh, huh? Ben yes. Warren. Warren as in, like, our Ben Warren? Yeah, because he has prostate cancer now. Hey, oh, well. Yeah. Okay, I'm not supposed to say anything. Kind of yeah, lips. I pay attention. I pay attention. Here's like all falling out. Lips are very much sealed. Um, okay. Uh, and then wait. Oh, so for tonight's episode, have you seen a trailer? No, I haven't. Okay. Do you have any idea what's happening? No, but please tell me because I didn't see a trailer because I watch it on on Hulu. Okay. So they, they don't play trailers. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm excited for you to watch it. You're the absolute worst. Why? Why do you do that? Why? She always does this to me. I'm sorry. Because I like it to be like an authentic reaction. When you watch it, you like have, you're not, <laughs> not, uh, what's it called? Tainted by anything I said. It's going to be exciting. I'm interested to see the text you give me tonight. Because I think there's going to be some harsh ones. You're going to really? be like, what is going on? You guys, the amount of times I've texted her and I'm like, I need to talk to someone. I need to talk to the writers. Like, I'm so over this right now. <laughs> I know. Well, we got to get you on the show and then you can talk to the writers personally about your character. Cause it's I'm going to come with a book of just notes. <laughs> Listen, I need to be from this. I need to be from here. I'm related to this. I'm dating this person. Um, I kid you not. And because of the show, of course, everyone, like everyone else, I'm like, I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. And when I had to do meds, what, um, I had to do exams one time. They're like, I think we're going to schedule a CT scan. I'm like, I know what that is. I'm ready for it. Guys, book an OR. I need a CT scan right away. <laughs> Give me a crash cart. I mean, you're ready for it. You're ready. It's not even a far stretch. No, I'm so ready. I'm like, I'm a doctor. I know what's going on. I feel like most people, when you watch the show, it's the same for firefighting. I start to forget. I'm like, I'm not a firefighter. My sister reminds me daily. She's like, no. <laughs> You don't do this. And I'm like, oh, sorry. You can't make the call, Danielle. You can't make the call. No. And I've gone on ride alongs and she's like, no, no. So mm -hmm. I'm like, my patient is having heart palpitations. She's like, please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. We well, at that. least you're on set and you know more than I do. I'm literally just watching and basing it off what I've seen on television. Trust me. I think that's all you need to know. That's basically all we know too, is what we <laughs> say. It's the exact same. This was so much fun. I'm so excited to talk and text after and call and I'll see you next week, but after the episode and to see your thoughts. Um, both episodes are going to be amazing. Okay. I sneak peeks that I got my eyes on um, since the first live. So they're actually going to be, it's going to be really good. I'm going to yell at you later, aren't I? Yes, you are. I'm preparing myself to be yelled at. Oh God, I love a good cry, but I also hate it. But this was so much fun. I'm so glad you asked me to do this. I hardly ever get to geek out over my favorite shows. So this was fun. I'm happy that I was like, I know who I'm bringing on. Francia is coming on and talking all about Grey's and Station 19 because I seriously don't know anyone in my personal circle of friends that's as big of a fan as you. And I love it. <laughs> Be on the show and then, um, and then I'm going to go film my show now. My hair's drying. I got to go to set. Enjoy filming Gronish and for thank you. You know, July it's coming back on the air July. What? Yeah, season four will be airing on Freeform July eighth. Um, and to catch up on the previous seasons, we are on Hulu. As with us, you can watch Station Nineteen and Gronish all at the same time. Yeah, what else do you want to do this weekend? Come on, like, I can't think of anything better. Get some pizza, get some wine, watch some shows. That's how I do it. Deal. I might have to do that this weekend, too. Okay, um, someone just said she could easily get all the spoilers. Just so you guys know, I've asked for spoilers. She will not tell me. Literally will not tell me. 
but I'm the same way about Grownish when my friends ask. So we don't tell anyone because like we love our job so much. And it's actually pretty cool to see our friends really enjoy it. Because I do. I hit up Jaina all the time, too. And she doesn't give you anything either. No. She She'll Good. be like, I know. I was sad, too. And I'm like, Jaina, like, what? <laughs> Are you OK? Are you OK as your dad? Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We'll keep trying to ask for spoilers. I love your passion for the show and I'm going to talk to you tonight. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'll, I'll scream at you later. I'll be waiting. All right. Love you. <laughs> have fun at work. Okay. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. Oh, Instagram change. How do I exit? <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay. Bye. Bye.